Savology really likes to innovate. And to innovate, you need technology, you need smart minds behind that. So using the cutting edge technology, being agile, being able to get products out to market faster than our competitors is key. And technology helps drive a lot of those cost savings and efficiencies. A lot of times when you development, you have a requirements document. Um, it could be 50 to 100 pages. But at the end of the day, no one is really looking at each of those pages. So with the story carding process, it really allows you to focus on small tasks, small units of work um, that the business can either write themselves or they can understand when they view it. And all of those small little stories together make up a full feature set. So it's really allowed us to focus on what we need to focus on, uh, do more iterative development, maybe a whole feature is not developed, but we can still launch one or two stories without waiting for the entire requirement stock. So Story Card has really changed how we look at features and how we deliver to the business. One of the things that really sold us on HashRocket, because we did have that tight deadline, is we did a three-day uh, story carding exercise. We sat down, we listed everything that we wanted to do in this application, and we wanted to see, could we hit that date? Did we have to scale back on stories? Um, and that estimation process was really concerning to me. And it turned out we actually had two weeks ahead of our planned launch date based on the features we listed. Um, that's what sold us on moving to with HashRock and Ruby platform. With the HashRock away with a stand-up meeting, just really a 15-minute meeting to say, okay guys, here's what we're working on today, here are the priorities, any issues, great, let's move on. It's a fast way to communicate with the team so everybody knows, hey, I'm working on this piece, oh yeah, I found a tool that can do that, and they share the knowledge, they share the experiences, and that really helps from our collaborative work environment between the developers. I have to say, in the very beginning, working with a paired programming model was something of an adjustment. Um, to sell that to the executive team as we're going to have two people work on the same task uh, was a slight adjustment to how we've done things in the past. However, in the end, I can tell you that um, working in paired programming has increased the quality of code, it's increased the knowledge of the application, so rather one person knowing one particular thing about the application, I now have two people that know about the case. So if someone's out, if someone gets pulled down a different task, I'm not stuck waiting for that piece of work to happen. With the hash rocket way that we've kind of embraced, test cases get written up front, and that has reduced our incidents when we push to production. I feel 99% confident something's not gonna break. I don't need to hire another QA team to go and test and regression test all my applications. Um, when the developers say something is being pushed, I can rest easy knowing that that push is gonna work successfully. We had an existing business when we started the deals business. So on the day that we launched, we had over a million email addresses that we were gonna email out right away. Um, first day, we had no idea what our traffic was gonna be. It was gonna be spiking, it was gonna be lowering. Um, so that was really a concern for us, but HashRock had stayed with us, um, you know, make sure everything was working. Um, Shay, one of the, the lead developers on the project, was with us till two in the morning, making sure everything was being processed, the payments were being processed correctly. Um, so that really helped a lot, uh, kind of allay our fears in what was happening, and that first day ran off without a hitch. Our CEO actually had mentioned that this was the first project in Savology history that was done on time and delivered as we said it would be delivered. So that was a big win for us on the IT time. We are sending out over 2 million email addresses, uh, emails a day on Savology. Uh, our traffic range based upon the deal that's running, um, but with Heroku and with the application that was built, we're able to scale as necessary. If we see a spike in traffic, we can add more resources through the Heroku Dino process. Um, we can start and stop processes as necessary to really um, meet the demands. We can push features out uh, the same day with traffic with no downtime on the application, which is something brand new to me without having downtime. Um, so it's really been a great benefit to allow us to scale a traffic based on our customer demands. You know, when we were done with the hash route engagement, one of my biggest concerns was how do I train my people on something that's been written for two months, how do they get into the code? So one of the things we did is towards the end of the project, we hired some movie developers and they actually went and sat with HashRocket, sat with our developers to get in there, paired program with them. Um, they got familiar with the environment, they set them up, they trained them on how to set up their Mac, how to set up uh, their Vim, how to set up the GitHub accounts, all the commands that make HashRocket so powerful, they trained our developers on that. Uh, so it's really been a great benefit of learning the HashRocket way.